All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you along through the process of how I package and ship my live red cherry shrimp that I sell to people on eBay or in this case, we're gonna be sending it to another aquarium fish vendor, but we'll get into that in a second. So you probably know by now that I have a 20 gallon red cherry shrimp tank. Now this tank is not a pretty tank by any means, but it can crank out some shrimp. There's an automatic fish feeder on top that feeds the tank twice a day. So these cherry shrimp are constantly eating and breeding and I have like 500 of them, I swear. There's so many cherry shrimp in this 20 gallon tank. It is crazy. I have more than I know what to do with them. So I started listing them for sale on eBay. I started selling them to my local fish store and then recently Tank Dreams, who I ordered some fish from in the past. We'll get into that later though. Uh, offered to buy 50 of them just to take some off my hands at this point But today I'm gonna be taking you through my entire process of turning an empty priority mailbox into a full and complete package of live red cherry shrimp So first thing we need to do is do a quick rundown of everything I have and all the equipment needed to go ahead and package up these guys So obviously first up is gonna be boxes So this box right here is one of my favorite for shipping smaller orders of shrimp This one right here is seven inches by seven inches by six inches it ships for fairly cheap and it's just a perfect size for one little bag of shrimp. I believe this is box number four on USPS's website, but I don't know for sure. If you just search the dimensions of seven inches by seven inches by six inches, it should come up. So I love this one right here. And then also if I'm doing a bigger order like we're doing today, we're actually doing two orders today. We'll get into that later. We have a lot to get to, but this is just a flat rate medium box. It ships for around $13.75. You can fill it up with as much as you want. So for this box, I like to ship anything up to around 40 shrimp and then anything over 40 shrimp gets a big box, okay? Okay, next up you obviously need a printer to print out shipping labels, a tape gun to tape the boxes closed. This all right here is packaging material to keep the shrimp safe in transit. I don't use styrofoam liners. It's spring right now, which is the perfect time to ship livestock. It's the perfect temperature. So I don't worry too much about styrofoam liners. I did it in the past and I never found any benefit from it. The only time I've actually had an issue shipping shrimp was when it got held in the post office for 10 days and I think like five out of 25 died. So we've had pretty good luck so far. Next up, you're gonna need rubber bands to close the bags. And then obviously last but not least, we're gonna need the bags. And I use two different sizes. So for orders of smaller shrimp, I use these bags right here. Um, I always double bag everything. Obviously we don't want any leaks. And then for larger orders, I use these larger bags. I get these bags off Aquabid. I will leave links to these bags down in the description below if you wanna check them out. But now that we have all the packaging material down, let's go check on the shrimp and we need to start bagging them up because I mean, they gotta go. Now trust me, I know this tank is a mess, but it has a purpose and we're gonna be getting that done today. And there's really no good way to record this tank. It just looks bad on camera. So we're gonna get this part done as fast as possible and then we can go back where there's some good lighting. But we have two orders of shrimp, one from Tank Dreams of 50 and one from eBay of 15. I always like to include extras just in case, but these are the containers we're gonna be using. Just fill these up with water real quick. Now in this tank, there really is a variety of shapes and sizes of shrimp. However, I try to grab a good variety with whatever I'm doing. So now I'm simply gonna take a net, make a big scoop, and then just count them as I put them into these containers. But I'll go ahead and throw you guys in a time lapse so you don't have to watch me pick out like 70 shrimp. <laughs> And we are back. Now that we're done with the hard part of getting all the shrimp out of the tank, which as you can see in the tank, it doesn't even look like we made a dent. Like there's still so many shrimp in there, it's crazy. But something I didn't mention was usually around a day before I ship shrimp out, I try to turn the auto feeder off just so the shrimp aren't eating a whole bunch right before I ship them. Because then when they're in shipping, if they're full of food, they'll foul the water quicker. However, in reality, even if I do stop the auto feeder, it is an aquarium. There's still so much stuff that these shrimp can pick and eat on that really, it probably doesn't make that much of a difference. I haven't had any issues with uh, my shrimp dying in transit. Luckily, uh, knock on wood though. But right here are the 50 red cherry shrimp for Tank Dreams. These are going to him so we can resell them on his website. I'm gonna be totally transparent here. Um, I'm selling these to him for a dollar a piece, which I guess in the world of wholesale is a little expensive, but I'm also not a wholesaler. But yeah, these are a dollar a piece right here. And there's honestly probably more than 50 in there. It's really hard to count them. So I just try to aim for above the promised number. And these right here are the 15 from eBay. I sell these guys for I think 33 bucks normally, but now that they're in these little cups, I'm just gonna transfer them into a bag, which is gonna be hard to do on camera. Okay, there we go. Make sure all our shrimp go in, none left in the cup, which is what we like to see. Then I try to remove as much duckweed as possible because some people think duckweed is a huge nuisance and I don't want to burden people with that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and start tying up the bag. Then we'll grab some rubber bands, you know, just do the normal bagging process. This is probably boring. And now once bag number one is all sealed right here, 
I'm gonna take bag number two and slide it right over bag number one. Obviously, we don't want any leaks in shipping, so I always double bag them. Now for shrimp, I like to do a mix of 50% water to 50% air. Because shrimp are really so small, they don't use that much oxygen. I feel like the water is equally as valuable to them because the more water that's in there, the less potent any ammonia that is in there may be. That's why I also like using the flat rate boxes because I can put a ton of water in there and it doesn't raise shipping charges. And then just like that, this little shrimp bag is ready to go into a box. A few moments later. And now that these guys are in a bag, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Where we just tie it on up. As you can see, way bigger bag, way more shrimp. And then once they're all tied up right here, we'll do the same thing, double bag it and get it ready for a box. So now that we have the shrimp all bagged up, it's time to get them boxed up. So this right here is the medium flat rate USPS box. All these boxes are free at your local post office, by the way, or you can order them on their website. They're also free. So the first thing I like to do is just line these boxes with paper, really nothing fancy at all, just some packaging paper. And then we're gonna take these shrimp right here, which if you notice, they're all clustered together. That's because they're all clustered around a little Java moss strand. Um, it gives them something to grab onto, so they really enjoy that. I'm gonna take this now, you can't really see it, it's off screen. But we're just gonna roll up this bag of shrimp in this paper and then nestle it right in here. You want it to be a snug fit, but obviously not too snug. You don't want anything popping. But now that we're good front to back, as you can see, there's very little room for this to kind of move this way. I don't know what that's called, side to side, whatever. We're just gonna fill in these gaps right here. Now a good eco-friendly uh, packaging material I also like to use is paper shreddings, as you can see right here. It's nice, it's fluffy, it provides insulation, and it's free, so we love to see it. It does make a mess though, that is a downside. But I'm just gonna take this, get this all on the sides, make sure everything is nice and snug. We do not want our little shrimp moving around too, too much. Last but not least, I'm gonna cover everything up with one more piece of paper. Tuck everything into the sides, just like so. And then this box is all done. Here we go. So I'll just tape these boxes up like normal. And then I'll also go ahead and add on the shipping labels off camera. I went ahead and printed out one shipping label from eBay and one from Pirate Ship. Really easy though, I'm just gonna tape them on and this box is done. Exact same thing on the smaller box here. Grab these little shrimp, once again in their little bag. And then more paper shredding. Then we'll get this box also all taped up. Get a shipping label on it and it's time to drop these off. Now I forgot to mention the reason I went with USPS and not an overnight service is because red cherry shrimp are super hardy. They're a member of the Neocardinia shrimp family. They're very hardy. They can totally last two to four days in the mail, which is about how long it takes on average for these packages to arrive at their locations. So it's not too long. The shrimp would be just fine, I promise. And it's way more economical than spending like 50 bucks on overnight shipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these guys off. I hope Tank Dreams enjoys his shipment of these shrimp. I'm sure they'll be for sale on his website in the next couple weeks and then I hope the random person from eBay enjoys their shrimp as well but that is gonna be it for this video of packaging shrimp I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of an insight into how I package my orders and I will catch you guys in the next video once again thank you guys so much for watching and good bye